hello guys and now we ask to find a parabola which is passing through uh, three given points okay first of all we have to remember that what is our parabola looks like it is the basic formula or basic function is y equals a x square plus b x plus c now what to do with this First of all, because we know the points, it means we given x and y values, which is plug in to our basic formula, and we're gonna have three equations and system of three equations, we just solving it and find the a, b and x and c. That's it. Okay, let's try to do it. First one, negative three, two, and we're just plugging y equals two a times x which is negative 3 squared plus b times x uh, means negative 3 squared oh, not squared anymore sorry and plus c next point is 0 5 and 5 is y our x, uh, x value is 0 a times 0 squared we don't have to write it I mean square plus b x which is 0 plus c next point negative 6 5 and again our y value is 5 and x negative 6 a times negative 6 squared plus b times negative 6 plus c and this is our system of equations now let's try to simplify it and we have 2 equals negative 3 squared is just 9 a b times negative 3 is just negative 3 b plus c next one is 5 equals 0 a plus 0 b plus c and then on rewriting I'm leaving the zero is here because I'm going to use matrix matrix system, and in this case, we just it's kind of good to see our coefficients to each variables. And next one is five negative six squared is just thirty six a negative six times b negative six b. It oh, looks almost the same. This is b, this is 6, plus c. Okay, now, these are our equations. Now, I'm going to change the, this system equation to matrix. How I'm doing this, how I'm doing this, is just this side is our, actually, a matrix. But, I mean, only coefficients next to variables, not all of this. I'm going to rewrite it. And our constants, it's a matrix b. And what we're going to do with this matrix? And actually, inverse of matrix A, A times B will give us the, our mat new matrix with our answers answers for the variables for A, B, and C. Now, what is our matrix A? Our matrix A is coefficients right here, and we have three variables three equations. It means our matrix will be three by three. And just rewrite coefficients. Nine, negative three, one, zero, zero, one, thirty six, negative six, one. Okay, it's my, our matrix A. Our matrix B is just this colon two five five. Now we're gonna find inverse of a. What? How to find it? Just using calculator. And it's gonna be. Let me do some light. And to input our matrix a. Okay, how to? Okay, like this I think. We go second matrix. Second matrix. Go to edit using arrows, edit, 
choose magic say it's already there enter and our matrix is three by three three col three rows three columns it means we have three by three three enter three enter now our values in the matrix and we just plug in there nine negative three one zero zero thirty six negative six oops thirty six negative six one okay and what do you say now matrix B which what to do we just second matrix go to edit edit go to matrix B matrix B enter now our matrix is three rows one column three enter one column enter our values two five five and now second quit we go to calculations and actually now we're going to use this formula inverse A to do inverse A we should, first of all we have to recall call as our matrix A go second second matrix in names A found A enter is right here now make it inverse you just use inverse button right here times B times call of matrix B second matrix go in names to B find the B matrix and enter enter and now this is our answer which is A B C but you see now here we have a small approximation we should change it to fractions just using math right here math fraction is the first one enter and enter one more time and now we have our answer in a fraction form or oh, exact and our answer is our answer is one third two and five I'm oh, sorry. One third, two and five. What does this actually mean? Because we're actually looking for the quadratic equation. Yes? How you remember? And our quadratic equation actually equals AX square, which is one third, AX one third, one third X square plus B, which is two, two X plus C, which is five, plus five. And this is our quadratic equation, which is passing through our given points. That's it. Thank you.